Hi guys, it's Tanika and welcome back to my channel to another Tanika Talks video. This is just a casual chatty get ready with me. I'm going to update you on what's been happening over the last month or so. So if this sounds good to you, stay tuned and be sure to give this video a thumbs up. I curled my hair today and I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. I'm finding it so hard to get the hang of holding the straightener in the right position but I finally found a way to like hold it on an angle and get the nice curls. So I don't know, I'm working on it, I'm working on it, okay? All right, well, should we start with the usual wedding updates? I feel like that's become quite a thing in these videos. Two-ish weeks ago, I went shopping with my bridesmaids so they could try on some bridesmaids dresses. There was one in particular that I really liked and I wanted them to try on and they loved it, thank God. So it was a really successful shopping trip. We haven't bought the dresses yet. We still need to try on some different sizes. The website I'm buying them from don't do returns. So we have to go to shops that actually stock this brand, try on the dresses and make sure we're getting the right sizes before we spend the money on them. <laughs> For my foundation, I'm going in with the new Astralis Fresh and Flawless. I actually just did a review on this, so I'll link it down below if you want to go watch it. I'm filming the demo for it as I'm filming this video, so I might just quickly throw in a clip of me applying it, and we'll get back to talking soon. Okay, I'm back and I've done my foundation, concealer and powder. So if you wanna see how this happened, you can go check out my Astralis review. For bronzer, I've still really been digging the designer brands Get Glowing Bronzers. So I'm going to go in with those. So back to the wedding, I'm actually meeting with the kind of wedding planner for the venue. I'm meeting with her next week and I have just got the biggest list of questions for her. So once I get those answered, I feel like I'll be able to start making a move with a lot of the smaller details, which will be really good. I can start working on the invitations as well and get those out so that people can start organizing their accommodation and what they're going to do. So as of right now, I'm trying to find someone to make a cake. I'm not going to go too extravagant because I don't know, the cake's not really that important to me and to be honest, they're hella expensive. <laughs> and I just don't think people are going to eat it. So I'm not going to go overboard and waste money on a cake that's not going to be eaten. You know what I mean? If you're married, let me know below what you did with your wedding cake. Did you do like the traditional thing and I think you keep one of the tears in your freezer and then eat it on your first anniversary or something like that or I don't know. What did you do? Oh my god, you guys, I have a new unhealthy obsession and it's with the TikTok app. <laughs> oh my god, I just spend so long watching videos on there and they are just freaking hilarious. It's kind of like the new Vine almost. My sisters and I have made a few videos, so if you want to watch them, I'll link it down below. It's just my full name, Tanika Janousness. So on Saturday, it is my 28th birthday. <laughs> By the time I upload this video, my birthday would have passed, but we are actually going camping. So Friday night, I'm going with uh, Clinton. I don't know why, I just kind of forgot who he was. <laughs> and then Saturday, some friends are coming up and they're going to stay the night. We're also taking the boat with us because there's a huge dam where we're going. So hopefully it's hot enough to do some water activities. And then a month after my birthday, my little niece turns one. <sighs> oh my God, where did the year go? I know I just sound really biased right now, but she is the cutest thing ever, okay? She is still so chunky and has so many rolls and she's got a few teeth and when she smiles, she like crinkles her nose. <sighs> so precious oh my god I love her the poor little thing was actually in hospital a couple of weeks ago she had an infection and ended up being in there for three days 
poor little bub, but she's all better now. I went up there whenever I could and spent some time with her playing because how boring being stuck in hospital. For my highlighter, I just applied the Flower Beauty Chubby Stick, which is a cream highlighter, and then I went over the top with it with a powder. All right, I'm just going to give my face a quick spritz with some Fix Plus to settle everything in. All right, onto the brows. Oh my God, they are so bad at the moment. I'm actually going to get them waxed and tinted this afternoon. I find it so hard to do my brows when they're not groomed. Like, I know there's not a lot going on. You'd think it must be super easy, but I struggle, okay? I did get henna tinting a few times and I won't be getting that again. After the like fourth time, I finally learned that it's not light enough for me. Even though the girls who do it say, yeah, yeah, it'll be light. It'll be light enough, don't worry. They won't be black like last time. They're still black like last time. I also get my lashes tinted as well because they are also quite blonde. And when I'm not wearing makeup, it's just nice to have some eyelashes because it makes me look a little bit more human. So I currently have a week off of work. <gasps> Oh, I just needed a break, you know? Sometimes you just need to have a moment. I've had a few weekends off here and there, but I haven't had a proper couple of days off to just fully unwind, probably since Christmas last year when I went away. Wow, this eyebrow does not look good. Okay, I need to concentrate for a minute. So today is my first day off and I've got some filming to do. As I said, I'm gonna get my brows done. And then I am going out to dinner tonight with some friends. And then for the rest of the week, I just want to get some filming done and catch up a bit because I feel like I've been a bit slack on YouTube lately. If you saw, I posted on the community tab that I really just needed a break last week. Oh, it just wasn't my week. And I think because I knew I was about to have time off work, I was just hanging out and hanging out for that. And then my car ended up having a moment and I drove into the garage and it just like, was shaking and the fan was going crazy. Clinton had a look under the bonnet and he said there was coolant just leaking everywhere. So that's fun. So I couldn't drive my car. He had to put um, like some water in it or something and I was able to get it to the mechanic. So that ended up costing $500. I'm really trying to be more in a positive mindset though. Like even though this happened, and it sucks, I think, okay, you know what? At least I had the money there to pay to fix my car. And so what? I don't have a car for two days. Clinton has a car. My sister lives with me. She has a car I can borrow. Like it's not that big of a deal. And I think just changing the way I look at it really helps my mood. <laughs> you know what I mean? And so there were just a few things that were happening and it's so easy to look at the negative side of it. So I was really trying to be positive and look at the positive side of it, but yeah, it can be a bit hard sometimes. <laughs> so yeah, it just wasn't my week. I needed a break off of YouTube, off of everything. I watched so much Netflix last week, which I never do. Like I usually don't have a lot of time to just sit down and watch TV, but I watched all of that series Dead to Me. Oh, it's only one series, but I watched it all in like two days. I watched this show on ABC iView called Old People's Home for Four-Year-Olds. Oh my God. It like makes me want to cry thinking about it. So apparently they've done this like overseas, but it was an experiment here in Australia where they took a bunch of four-year-olds to like an old people's retirement village and they wanted to see if each age group could improve each other's quality of life. So they did all these tests on the older residents and a lot of them were just so lonely, they're so depressed, they just want to die. It was really, really sad. And then they bring in the four-year-olds and they just do activities with them, things that get the old people up and moving because they literally sit down for like 22 hours a day and just having fun really. And for the four year olds, being with the older people just taught them a lot of, not life skills, but at their age in the show, they talked about where a four year old's development is at. 
And so like teaching them patience and empathy and things like that. Oh my God, it was the sweetest show. Like you feel so sad, but then you feel so happy and just overwhelmed with emotion because it's so heartwarming. Oh my God, I really, really enjoyed it if you can't tell. <laughs> so if you want to watch that, I just went online or if you've got a smart TV, you could go onto the ABC iView section and just watch it on there. Really beautiful show. I just loved it. So anyway, the point of that was I spent the whole week just binging and kind of not doing any of my responsibilities. <laughs> And it was actually nice just to have that little break. It felt really weird though, because like at times where I'd usually be editing or I don't know, writing up videos, I was just like, like what, what do I do? Do I just watch more TV? Is that, is that what I do? And then another show I started watching this week is The Bachelorette. It started last night. It was the episode where, hang on, let me get some eyeshadow and talk. <laughs> I'm just going to go in with my Zoeva Cocoa Blends palette and just do something simple with these warm shades here. So yeah, Bachelorette started last night and it was the first episode where they meet all the contestants. Oh, it's just so cringy, <laughs> like some people. But so far I really like, what was his, Corlin, Corbin? The guy she gave the yellow rose to, I like him. He's cute, he seems really nice. That king fella from Noosa, okay. You're clearly put in there to be the villain and you know what, it's working, I hate you. <laughs> wow, this shade is a lot darker than I thought. All good, all good, all good. I also really like Tim, he seems really genuine so I think they would be a good match. But so far, that's, that's who I'm liking. I don't like to watch these shows because I feel like they're just such time wasters. <laughs> like, oh, I feel like there's so many other better things I could be doing, like editing my videos or, I don't know, just not being a slob. But as I learned last week, sometimes it's really good just to sit down, chill out, and watch a bit of TV. So I might stick with The Bachelorette. I'll let you know. Oh, another reason I was having a shit week last week, just while I'm here complaining, is I really hurt my back. Is this what happens when you age? Seriously, like I threw it out. So for a couple of months, I've actually had quite a sore lower back. And when I sit down and like bend forward, it would really ache. And then I babysat my niece and overnight and putting her to sleep those couple of times for naps, oh, I think that really did it for me. And it was just the turning point. My back was like, nope, I've had enough. I had to go home early from work one day. I had to get other people to do my morning shifts because I was just not capable enough to lift anything. I don't know how people deal with back pain all the time. Like I was miserable. I did go onto YouTube and find like specific videos, like yoga videos for back pain. And that definitely helped. And I come to the conclusion that my body just isn't strong enough. So I rarely exercise. I go for a walk or I do a bit of stretching. I don't exercise. I've always hated it. The only exercise I ever actually enjoyed was reformer Pilates. And I used to go to this little studio, but it was pretty expensive and I just couldn't keep up with it. It ended up being like $20 a class. And when you want to go a few times a week, come on. So anyway, this new gym is opening up near me and they have Reforma Pilates classes. So I joined. I'm pretty sure it opens this week or next week actually. So I can finally start going back and doing a little bit of exercise. And I think strengthening my core will definitely help with this back pain because right now I just feel like my body isn't even strong enough to hold itself up. All right, I'm just going to finish the other eye and I'll be right back. All right, so eyes are done. This is what they look like. Do, do, do. I actually picked up some new Sigma eye brushes. I did talk about them. I think I showed them on my Insta stories the other day. They're like mini versions of some other brushes they already have and they are 
freaking amazing. This one in particular is the E42 Precision Firm Blender. And it's just a super, super, super tiny fluffy brush. And it's so perfect for like blending out your transition. Mm, I love it. Anyway, moving on to lipsticks, I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Colorish Shine Lipstick in the shade 658. All right, guys, well, this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed it catching up today. It definitely felt good to just get all that off my chest and share everything with you on what I've been up to. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up so I know. And if you aren't already, make sure you come and follow me over on Instagram. I hope you're all having a fabulous day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.